All right, here we are. It is June uh, 16th, somewhere in that range. Um, 17th, actually, I think, today. We're gonna do a little bit of an update on the beans that we were doing. Um, these are organic beans drilling on 30 inches and no-tilled into rye. So we'll do a little bit of a look at this field. I haven't really checked it yet. Uh, and uh, then we'll show you how things are gonna be changing from the first video. So here you can see these were the drilled beans. These have been rotary hoed twice, once pre-emergence and once um, after emergence. You can see we do have grass that's already here. We need to try to hit them with a the rotary hoe one more time. Um, and yeah, we will, you can see here, these were tire tracks. We'll damage a little bit of beans, but um, they'll fill in, not too worried. We are, we do have a weed zapper, so any weeds that come through, we'll be able to weed zap. You can, I mean, you can see there, there's gonna be some weeds here. Um, but hopefully the weed zapper will be able to clean up whatever the rotary hoe doesn't, uh, and then hopefully the beans will be shaded. So that's that's part of we're seeing if if this is a strategy that works or not uh, in our organic system. Here we've got the 60 or the uh, 30 inch beans. You can see they're looking pretty good here. Again, we will try to hit these with the rotary hoe at least one more time. Um, and remember, we planted these a good two inches deep, so they're well rooted. We can be pretty aggressive with the rotary hoe. We also planted them uh, on the thicker side, so these are somewhere in the 170,000 range. We can take out a lot of beans here, uh, and you can see, I mean, they're nice and thick. We can take out a lot of beans and still end up with a stand that can get a good yield. So over here in the rye, you can see the rye is not crimped. A um, couple of things that happened there, we were just weather and logistics and uh, it, they, we just didn't get it crimped. The beans were up and we decided, eh, we're just gonna try to combine the rye and see what happens. So I have not looked at this field yet. Uh, so this is gonna be initial reactions. Uh, one initial reaction is we do have a ragweed right here coming through. Uh, but the beans are, are still growing here. They're actually not too terribly leggy. Uh, I'd imagine this rye will get combined, uh, oh, I would say within the next two weeks for sure. You can see it's it's already, you know, headed out. We're, we're well into the dough stage at this point. Um, are there weeds down here? Oh, there's, there's maybe a few. Nothing too bad though. The beans all look good. We'll walk over here a little ways and look at the beans that I drilled in. So the, these were all planted, uh, I believe it was the same day. If there was a difference, it was just a few hours. Okay, getting past the 30 inch beans. Okay, so these were the beans that we drilled into the rye. Okay, so you can see, we got beans here. They're coming through. Uh, this is the middle right where the tractor was driving. So you can see the rye is pushed down a lot more. Over here where we don't have the tractor tracks adding, we definitely have a lot more spaces in between. There's still beans there, they're still coming, but not near as well. So, hindsight, drilled beans into rye might benefit more from crimping than 30 inch beans into rye. Um, I don't know. We may try to combine these sprigs that are standing up. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see kind of how far the beans are along. We think we're going to damage them more than what it's worth. We do have duels on our combine, um, which I don't know if in a situation like this would be better or worse than super singles. So again, these were drilled probably not as heavy as they should have been. This is probably, I think, 200... 20, 230,000 seeds an acre. Um, but that's that's what it looks like. So if we would have roller crimped this whole field, it probably would all look like this with a rye, you know, as a nice mat, the beans pushing through, um, and away we'd be going. You see, we got some good weed control here because we've got a nice thick mat. But we'll see how it works. You know, if it if we can get decent yields on the beans while still harvesting the rye for seed. Uh, that's that's a great bonus. I think if we would do that, I might cut down a little bit on the population of the rye. This isn't quite lodged, but it's definitely thick enough. 
and leaning over. So that's the update here. We are not doing roller crimped rye, we're doing planting beans into rye and then harvesting. So stay tuned, probably in a couple weeks here we'll be combining this field, uh, getting the rye off, and then we'll see with some more sunlight into the roads if the beans take off and grow better, if the weeds take off, uh, I don't know. So I guess you're supposed to say subscribe, hit the like button, all those goody things so that more people can see about this trial and um, learn about different options for organic soybeans.